Have you ever thought whether it's possible to stir the plasma in this plasma mug? Stay tuned to find out. I was fortunate enough to come across one of these. Some of you, if you're old enough, probably remember these. These are the so-called plasma mugs that were available back in the day. And suddenly it's become really difficult to find them. But I was lucky enough to spot this one for sale on eBay and decided I was quickly going to buy it because I needed to test it out. It comes with a base which generates an oscillating electric field and which can run off of either batteries or a 12 volt power adapter. So I've got it connected to a 12 volt adapter and I filled it up with some water and I'm going to test it out right now. So let's turn it on. And there you are, you've got a beautiful neon glow. I'm gonna turn the lights down so you can appreciate that a little bit better. And of course, here it is in near darkness. And you know, if I touch different parts of it, it seemingly follows the path of my hand or finger because it's looking for ground. Now, of course, if I wanted to stir the liquid in this cup, that would be easy. I'd just get a stirrer, and of course, I can stir it around. The liquid doesn't seem to affect the generation of the plasma or produce any inhibitory effects on it. But what if I wanted to stir the plasma instead of the liquid? Let's think how we're going to do this. So this is how I plan on stirring the plasma. If you use a cylindrical type magnet, and there are neodymium magnets like this that have a north and south on either end of the cylinder, the, the field lines of the magnet tend to move like this. So as you get near the surface of one of the poles, the field lines are essentially coming out the sides like that. And if you bring that magnet close to the top of this mug, the magnetic field lines are gonna cut the moving charges in the plasma at 90 degrees and cause the charged particles to move in a circular motion in the mug, which should give uh, a stirring motion or a, sim a circular motion of the plasma. So that's what I'm gonna plan on doing. And this effect is known as the Lorenz effect, Lorenz forces that will cause the plasma to move. So let's check and see if this actually works. And to do this, what I have is I have a very strong cylindrical magnet in this container. It's just a plastic container. You can see it sticks to just about everything. And the magnet in here um, is extremely strong. Um, I believe it's an N52 magnet. It may be a, an even stronger one than that. But here it is. I'm not sure which is north and which is south because they're just relative. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the cylinder into that mug in the dark so we can see what it does to the plasma. And we can see if we can really stir that plasma. The exact same effect happens with an electrolyte when you pass current through it. We want stirred plasma and not shaken plasma. Let's begin our experiment. Okay, folks, the plasma is now activated. Let's begin stirring with our magnet in the tube. We're gonna put that right on top and let's see what it does. It should turn it either one way or the other. I'm gonna bring it down and there it goes. Real fast stirring here. It's turning, it's turning anti-clockwise. The speed is so fast that it looks like the entire glass is just glowing orange. Let's do that again, that's kind of fun. Now let's flip the pole. I'm just going to turn this tube upside down and should turn clockwise this time. Here goes. And it's moving really quick. So there you go. Plasma stirred, not shaken. This is not quite a martini, but it still would be enough to make James Bond proud. Thanks for watching, folks. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these type of videos. And I look forward to hearing your comments. If you have any cool suggestions of things I could try with this plasma, please let me know in the comments section.